Hi everybody, Colin and myself are going to hear this evening to show you how to plant strawberries in a terracotta planter. So Colin, what did you get first? Okay, so this morning Phil and I went to Lidl and I bought my multi-purpose compost for two euros. We're going to put it into, into the planter. And as well as that, Lidl also had lovely strawberries for sale. So I got eight strawberries and only for six euros. And now Phil is going to show you how to put the strawberries into the planter. Okay, so this planter, as you can see, has two layers. It has a layer of holes around the bottom and then another layer around here and then there's a top. So the thing is that when you put the compost into the planter, you should only fill it up to about here first. That enables you then to put in a plant into the holes. Now I'm just going to rotate this slightly. So what I do is, again, the same thing. I have one of my strawberry plants. I squeeze the pot gently so that I can release the plant and then out it pops and there is my root. Now this space is a little bit tight so what I do is I kind of squeeze that a small bit so just tighten it a little bit so you can push that into the hole like that. Settle it in, now there's a dead leaf there, we'll take that off and then I finish it off, top it off with a little bit of compost just to bed it in. Now you can see here that I've planted a few more earlier so now we have the bottom layer all done, so that's fine. So now Colin's going to I'm put more soil in. Put in more compost just to bring it up a bit more. Up to the next level. Okay. I need some more now. I'll do it a bit quicker. Yeah. Okay, so I have to fill it too much. Oh. See how that is now? Okay, a little bit more I think. Okay. We're doing it indoors today because of the lashing rain outside. Okay, so here we go. Now we've another one ready to go. Again, squeeze it a little bit tightly, shove it into the hole like so, and then just top it off with some soil just to bed it in. We'll just I'll do, do one go. more. Uh, do I'll do one as well. You're going to finish it off, are you? Might as well. Get to the top. Now when this is up and running and with them all planted, you can just tidy away all the, the loose soil. But what you'll need to do then is you, strawberries, birds love strawberries. So when this is growing and you've got strawberry, strawberries appearing, so what will happen first is you see this plant, we have a blossom on this plant, which is a flower. So the, the plant flowers first, and once the flower dies, then that's the basis of the strawberry. So then you'll see a nice strawberry appearing and they'll be kind of yellowy white to begin with, and then they'll turn the nice strawberry color, pinky red. And then you need to cover them with some netting because birds love strawberries. So and you might look out one day and have lots of strawberries, and the next day you look, they've all been eaten by the birds. So it's important that you maybe structure to go over it with some netting. Just put a little bit in there, bed it in. One last thing over here. So you can start topping up the clay and I'll come on the top if you have more. Yeah. Now I'll probably get another couple of more strawberry plants if little still have them just to put them on the top here. Well, even one here. or two more. One or two more, yeah. So that'll be ten in all. We'll have loads of strawberries there. Okay, so then obviously you have to give them a little drink, drink water them through the top. Yeah. Now you won't do that. That's a yeah. bit of water. Yeah, that's fine. And then where have you got your bamboo? No, we won't worry about that. Okay, so we'll show when we have them growing outside, we'll show mm. you, we'll do another little video to show you how they're doing and to show you how to protect them from the birds. So that's yeah. it for today. Thanks everybody. Wash your hands, stay safe and be kind to each other. Bye. Bye bye.